Welcome to the Why Files Unzipped, a skeptic's playground. Here, we delve into the heart of skepticism, where every claim is scrutinized and every mystery is dissected with a fine-tooth comb. The Y Files, a bastion of rational inquiry, known for dissecting the strange and unexplained. This is where the curious minds gather, where the unexplained meets the unrelenting force of critical thinking. It's a safe haven for skeptics, where critical thinking reigns supreme, until now that is. The newsroom, usually a place of calm and calculated analysis, has been thrown into a whirlwind of controversy. A recent video featuring the host's take on Terence Howard's, let's call them unique, scientific theories, has thrown the community into a tizzy. Howard's theories, often dismissed by mainstream science, have found an unlikely platform here sparking debates and raising eyebrows. The internet, never one to let a good controversy simmer, erupted. Social media platforms lit up with discussions, arguments, and a fair share of memes. The Y Files, once a sanctuary for the rationale, found itself at the center of a digital storm. Was this a genuine critique or something more sinister? The community is divided. Some see it as a bold move to challenge the status quo, while others suspect ulterior motives. The newsroom is abuzz with speculation and concern. Had the Y Files gasp sold out? The very idea seems preposterous to some, yet the question lingers. Has the pursuit of truth been compromised for the sake of sensationalism? The journalists, usually the ones asking the tough questions, now find themselves under scrutiny. Let's dive into the digital drama, shall we? The stakes are high, and the lines between fact and fiction blur as we navigate this controversy. The newsroom prepares for a live broadcast, determined to address the issue head on. Buckle up, dear reader, it's going to be a bumpy ride through the world of online outrage and skeptical side-eye. The discussions are heated, the opinions varied, and the truth elusive. But that's what makes this journey all the more intriguing. Our destination, the truth, or at least a reasonable facsimile thereof. In the end, it's not just about the controversy, but about the relentless pursuit of understanding. Join us as we sift through the noise, separate facts from fiction, and strive to uncover the truth in this skeptic's playground. Section 2, Terrence Howard, One Man Science Revolution. Ah, Terrence Howard, Oscar-nominated actor, talented musician, and revolutionary physicist. It seems Mr. Howard has some thoughts about how the universe works. Thoughts that, shall we say, deviate from mainstream scientific consensus. Gravity, math, the very fabric of reality itself, nothing is safe from his reinterpretations. These pronouncements delivered with absolute certainty have become the stuff of internet legend. Some marvel at his audacity, others, well let's just say they're reaching for their physics textbooks. Whatever your stance on Mr. Howard's theories, one thing is undeniable. They make for entertaining content. And in the digital age, entertainment often trumps accuracy. Section 3. Rogan's Arena, where science gets interesting. Enter Joe Rogan, comedian, podcaster extraordinaire, and purveyor of long-form conversations that run the gamut from insightful to, well, let's just say thought-provoking. His podcast, The Digital Behemoth, has become the go-to platform for celebrities, athletes, and the occasional self-proclaimed expert to share their views on everything from comedy to conspiracy theories. It's a wild, unpredictable ride, often informative, sometimes baffling, always entertaining. And it was here in this digital coliseum that Terence Howard chose to unveil his scientific revelations to the world. The internet naturally had a field day. Section 4. The Y Files host enters the fray. The Y Files, known for its measured, evidence-based approach to skepticism, seemed like an unlikely combatant in this digital circus. Yet, here we are. The show, which has built a reputation for dissecting the most outlandish claims with a scalpel of logic and a microscope of evidence, found itself in the midst of a storm it usually observes from a distance. The host, usually a calm and collected voice of reason, appeared visibly perturbed by Mr. Howard's claims. His demeanor, typically a bastion of tranquility, was now a canvas painted with shades of agitation. The Y Files host, who had always prided himself on maintaining an even keel, was now visibly shaken. His critique, while articulate and well-reasoned, carried an edge of something else. Anger, frustration, it was as if the very foundation of his skeptical fortress had been challenged, and he was now defending it with an intensity rarely seen. The host's voice, usually a calm river of rationality, now had the undercurrents of a storm brewing. Or could it be, as some have whispered, something more calculated? Was this a strategic move, a calculated risk to stir the pot and draw more eyes to the show? The whispers grew louder, each one adding a layer of intrigue to the unfolding drama. The internet, always eager to sniff out a conspiracy, pounced. Forums buzzed with theories, each more elaborate than the last. Social media platforms became battlegrounds of speculation, with users dissecting every word, every gesture of the host, looking for hidden meanings and ulterior motives. Had the Y-Files gone Hollywood? 
Was this a sign that the show, once a bastion of intellectual rigor, was now succumbing to the allure of sensationalism? The idea that the Y-Files might be trading its scholarly robes for the glitzy garb of Hollywood was both shocking and tantalizing. Was this a desperate bid for clicks and views? In an age where attention is the most valuable currency, was the Y-Files making a calculated play to stay relevant in an increasingly crowded digital landscape? The questions were as numerous as they were unsettling. The accusations flew faster than a UFO over Area 51. Each new theory, each new piece of speculation added fuel to the fire. The newsroom, usually a place of calm analysis, was now a cauldron of chaos. The Y-Files, once a lighthouse of reason in a sea of misinformation, was now at the center of a storm it had never anticipated. Section 5, Dissecting the Critique Genuine or Calculated, Let's Be Charitable, Shall We? The Y-Files host, like any good skeptic, probably found Mr. Howard's claims demonstrably, undeniably, well wrong. And perhaps, just perhaps the sheer audacity of it all, the confidence with which these claims were presented, triggered a reaction that was, shall we say, more animated than usual. After all, we're all human. Even skeptics have their limits. But the internet, bless its cynical heart, wasn't buying it. The timing, the tone, the sheer vehemence of the critique, it all seemed a bit too, well, convenient. Section 6. The Spectre of Payoffs Qui Bono? Here's where things get juicy. The phrase qui bono translates to who benefits. And it's a question that has been asked for centuries whenever there's a whiff of conspiracy or hidden motives. In this case, the internet sleuths and armchair detectives have turned their magnifying glasses towards the Y-Files host and Mr. Howard. The internet, in its infinite wisdom, posited a theory a theory that has sparked countless debates and discussions across forums, social media platforms, and even in casual conversations. What if this wasn't a genuine critique, but a paid hit job? The idea that someone might be financially motivated to discredit Mr. Howard adds a layer of intrigue and suspicion to the entire scenario. What if, whisper it softly, someone was paying the Y-Files host to discredit Mr. Howard? This notion opens up a Pandora's box of potential conspirators and hidden agendas. Who would benefit from such a scheme? The question of qui bono leads us down a rabbit hole of possibilities, each more tantalizing than the last. The possibilities, as they say, are endless. Could it be a rival scientist threatened by Mr. Howard's groundbreaking theories? Or perhaps a corporate entity with a vested interest in maintaining the status quo? Big physics, threatened by Mr. Howard's revolutionary ideas? The scientific community is known for its fierce debates and sometimes its resistance to change. Could Mr. Howard's ideas be so disruptive that they warrant a covert operation to silence him, a rival celebrity, jealous of his scientific spotlight? Fame and recognition can be powerful motivators, and the world of science is not immune to the allure of the limelight. Or perhaps, just perhaps, a shadowy cabal of mathematicians determined to maintain their iron grip on the universal laws of logic and reason? The idea of a secretive group working behind the scenes to control the narrative is both thrilling and terrifying. The internet, fueled by speculation and memes, had a field day connecting the dots, however tenuously. From elaborate flowcharts to humorous memes, the online community has left no stone unturned in their quest to uncover the truth. Theories range from the plausible to the downright absurd, but each one adds to the rich tapestry of speculation that surrounds this mystery. Social media platforms buzzed with activity as users shared their thoughts and theories. Hashtags related to the controversy trended, drawing even more attention to the unfolding drama. Some users claimed to have insider information, while others simply enjoyed the thrill of the hunt. The detective work didn't stop there. Amateur sleuths created detailed timelines, cross-referenced public statements, and even analyzed body language and videos to support their theories. The level of dedication and creativity displayed by these internet detectives is nothing short of remarkable. As the investigation continued, new pieces of evidence and speculation emerged. Each revelation added another layer to the mystery, keeping the public hooked and the debate alive. The question of qui bono remained at the forefront, driving the search for answers. Time will tell if the truth behind this controversy will ever be fully uncovered. Until then, the question of who benefits will continue to fuel discussions and keep the mystery alive. The internet's collective curiosity and determination ensure that this story is far from over. In the end, the question of qui bono serves as a reminder of the complexities and hidden motives that often lie beneath the surface of public controversies. It challenges us to look beyond the obvious and consider the deeper implications of the actions and events that shape our world. As the investigation continues, one thing is certain. 
the search for truth is a never-ending journey. The internet, with its vast resources and collective intelligence, will undoubtedly play a crucial role in uncovering the answers. Until then, the mystery remains, and the question of Quibono lingers in the air, inviting us to keep searching for the truth.